James Anthony Weiss, identified by police as the victim of a violent assault that has since turned deadly. It happened early Sunday morning near Northwest 3rd and Gleason in Old Town. Authorities won't say much about the case, only that the attack was, quote, exceptionally brutal, unquote. The, the disregard for the value of human life was particularly jarring in this case. The victim in this case, he, he didn't deserve this. I mean, nobody does. Scott Kerman is the executive director of Blanche House, a nonprofit that provides food and shelter to the houseless. Blanche House sits across the street from the scene of the deadly assault. Kerman told us Monday the 46-year-old Weiss lived in a tent near Blanche House. Weiss would come to the facility for meals regularly. We knew this individual. We, we knew him quite well. So um, it's particularly devastating for us today. Investigators are now calling Weiss's death a homicide. Officers have not yet tracked down the man or woman behind the attack. But Kerman has reason to believe the suspect is not somebody who receives services at Blanche House. While that gives Kerman some comfort, he's rattled by the number of residents at Blanche House who witnessed the now deadly assault of James Anthony Weiss. Our residents were on the streets themselves uh, at one point in their lives. They can really connect to the experiences of the people who are um, camped out around Blanche House, and it, it affected them very deeply. It's, it's going to linger with some of them for quite some time. We absolutely want to do everything that we can to make sure that not only we find this person and uh, get them under arrest, but make sure that there is a successful future prosecution for crimes committed. All right, you may be wondering why police have not yet released any sort of suspect description. They say by doing so, it could jeopardize the integrity of the investigation. That said, they'd like to hear from anyone who knows anything about what happened to James Anthony Weiss. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.